The Chinese are vigorously building hydroelectric power, but they don't know the harm? In today's life, electricity has become the most common and important resource. In order to meet its domestic industrial and daily electricity needs, China has also tried every means to develop electricity resources. Among them, the least polluting and sustainable green development of power generation is to use hydropower. Who knew that when China's hydropower stations were ahead of other countries in the world, foreign engineers said that hydropower was extremely harmful and that China had been building hydropower stations to harm the environment. So is the fact really as foreign engineers said? Are hydropower stations harmful? How does China deal with it? Let us take a closer look in this video. In 1878, the world's first hydroelectric power station was officially put into use in France. At this time, most parts of China were still using kerosene lamps. Even if advanced cities such as Shanghai had built power stations, they were the oldest and most expensive thermal power stations, and there were no advanced hydroelectric power stations. After the Western powers opened the door to the Qing dynasty, France took advantage of Japan's return of the Liaodong Peninsula and obtained the right to build and own the Yunnan Vietnam Railway in Yunnan province. Soon after, France attempted to establish a hydroelectric power station on the grounds of road construction in order to monopolize the power industry in Yunnan province. The Yunnan Vietnam Railway had already put Yunnan under the control of France. Once the electricity was also monopolized by France, it would inevitably increase France's plunder of Yunnan's resources. For a time, Patriots from all walks of life protested and demanded that China itself fund the construction of a hydroelectric power station. The location chosen was Shilongba, the exit of Mantis River at the Dianchi Lake. This hydroelectric power station was also called Shilongba Hydro Power Station. With the support of Patriots in Yunnan, the Shilongba Hydro Power Station started construction in 1910 at a cost of 500,000 silver dollars. On May 28, 1912, the Shilongba Hydro Power Station was completed and put into operation, marking the first hydro power station in China. The total installed capacity of the Shilongba Hydro Power Station is 480 kilowatts. The water diversion channel of the hydropower station is 1,478 meters long. It uses a 15-meter drop and a flow rate of 4 cubic meters per second to supply electricity to the urban area of Kunming 32 kilometers away. Compared with today's hydropower stations, the various data of Shilongba seem insignificant. But at that time, it was China's first step into hydropower generation, providing an important reference for the construction of subsequent hydropower stations. In 1935, the Shilongba hydropower station, which had mastered more advanced technology, dismantled the original two 240 kilowatt units and replaced them with two 720 kilowatt units increasing the total installed capacity from 480 kilowatts to 1,440 kilowatts. Because the initial drop was 15 meters, only half of the total drop of the river section, engineers used the tailwater to continue to use the 15 meter drop and built the second and third power plants with a total installed capacity of 1,000 kilowatts and 480 kilowatts. During the anti-Japanese war, Shilongba Hydro Power Station continuously supplied electricity to military industry, hospitals, civilian fields and other fields, making great contributions to the victory of the anti-Japanese war. As a result, it suffered many bombings by the Japanese army, but was protected by the power plant employees. 
After the founding of New China, Shilongba Hydropower Station has undergone many reorganizations, and the total installed capacity has been increased to 6,000 kilowatts, and the units have been continuously updated. As of 2012, Shilongba Hydropower Station has been in normal operation for 100 years, with a cumulative power generation of more than 1 billion kilowatt hours. Affected by the war, China's hydropower stations developed slowly before the founding of New China. As of 1949, China's total installed capacity of hydropower was only 360,000 kilowatts, with an annual power generation of 1.8 billion kilowatt hours. After the founding of New China, China's hydropower stations also entered a period of rapid development with the development of the country. First of all, China reinforced, repaired and expanded the hydropower stations left by the Japanese puppet regime. However, facing the international economic and technological blockade, our hydropower development was relatively slow at the beginning. Fortunately, Chinese hydropower workers have played the spirit of hard work and self-reliance carried out planning for Guttian Creek and Yongding River, and designed small and medium-sized hydropower stations such as Shiziton, Shangyo River, and Fosiling. These hydropower stations have small investments and short construction periods, which can not only meet the power generation needs, but also overcome the difficulties in development. The Sanmengxia Hydropower Station is the first large-scale water conservancy hub project built by China on the Yellow River, after the founding of New China. However, due to the heavy sediment in the Yellow River, it was impossible to generate electricity normally after the project was completed, and the discharge of sediment would cause saline alkali land in the downstream, so it had to be rebuilt twice. It was precisely because of this that hydropower workers developed experience suitable for high sediment rivers, and became more cautious and scientific in the establishment of hydropower stations. When the electricity demand in Jiangsu, Zhujiang and Shanghai became increasingly tight, the Xianonjiang hydropower station was officially started in 1957. This is the first hydropower station designed and constructed independently in New China. All the equipment used is made in China, with a total installed capacity of 855,000 kilowatts and an annual power generation of 1.86 billion kilowatt hours. This milestone hydropower station also provided important reference data for the Three Gorges hydropower station on the Yangtze River. Soon after, the first hydropower station on the main stream of the Yangtze River, the Gezhuba Hydropower Station, was put into use. This was also the largest hydropower station in China at the time, with a total installed capacity of 2.71 million kilowatts and an annual power generation of 15 billion kilowatt hours, close to one-third of the country's hydropower. When the Gezhuba Dam project was successful, the fate of the Yangtze River changed. The Hong Kong English newspaper South China Morning Post said that this project was as great as the United States sending astronauts to the moon. When China fully reformed and opened up, Domestic hydropower generation also entered a period of standardized and scientific development. National, local, domestic and foreign capital have stepped onto the historical stage and jointly developed several large hydropower projects, such as Wukiangxi and Tianhuangping. After entering the 21st century, when Yang Liwei came back from space, the Three Gorges Right Bank Unit was also open for bidding. China has overcome the problems that foreign experts could not solve and has its own core technology. The Three Gorges Hydropower Station has also achieved a bottleneck of 100 million kilowatts of total installed capacity, 
surpassing the United States to become the world's first. After the Three Gorges, the world's largest hydropower station, the Byheaton Hydropower Station, has also been put into use, with a total installed capacity of 16 million kilowatts and an annual power generation of 60.24 billion kilowatt hours. More importantly, because China has many hydropower station projects, many advanced topics and materials in the world are practiced in China. Today, China has overtaken the world in a short period of time and is leading the trend of hydropower in the world. Most of the world's 700,000 kilowatt units are installed in China, and China also has independent intellectual property rights for 800,000 kilowatt and 1 million kilowatt hydropower units. From the initial total installed capacity of 480 kilowatts to the current 16 million kilowatts, China's hydropower has successfully reversed. But as it climbed step by step, many voices of opposition emerged abroad. When the Three Gorges project was being planned, international opposition to the hydropower station reached a climax, on the grounds that it would damage the ecological environment and cause serious property losses to local residents. Some international geological experts said that the dam's water storage capacity was too large which could easily cause earthquakes, and there were precedents of dam-induced earthquakes in the world. At this time, there was a serious misunderstanding of hydropower generation in the international community, believing that dams were environmental destroyers, which not only changed the balance of the ecosystem, but also caused people to be displaced. It was under this situation that China's Three Gorges hydropower station came into being. However, the phenomenon of people being displaced and the ecology being destroyed did not occur, as international environmentalists said. Instead, it set a good example for the world. First of all, for the survival of the surrounding people, the government took the lead in resettlement work made substantial compensation for the assets of the immigrants and solved the employment problem for the people. For the survival of fish caused by river changes, China also conducted a long-term exploration and found a set of effective solutions. Such as setting up fish passing facilities, demarcating fish nature reserves, building fish breeding and release stations, as well as artificial flood peak-induced spawning, artificial simulated spawning plants, etc. Even after the completion of the Three Gorges Dam, it can not only prevent floods and supply water, but also be used to irrigate fields to ensure that people are protected from floods and waterlogging disasters. Under China's overall planning, the impact of hydropower stations has been minimized, and it has also brought various conveniences to the people. It is precisely because of the success of China's Three Gorges hydropower station that the international misunderstanding of hydropower has been eliminated and hydropower has become a sustainable way of power generation. When science and technology are developing rapidly, the environment has also been severely damaged. Nowadays, when developing high-tech, all countries will adhere to the principles of green, pollution-free and sustainable development. Moreover, China's Baiheaton hydropower station has a unit with a single unit capacity of 1 million kilowatt hours, which is composed of tens of thousands of parts and is called the Everest of World Hydropower and such difficult instruments are all independently developed by China. Today, China has become a benchmark in the world's hydropower industry, and it is also actively helping foreign countries build hydropower stations and continuously expanding its international influence. In China, breeding stations have become standard equipment for hydropower stations and considerable progress has been made in artificial breeding of fish, 
further maintaining the diversity of aquatic organisms. In the Suolong Hydropower Station in the upper reaches of the Jinsha River, Chinese engineers also installed an elevator for fish, which gathered fish that could not swim across the dam and sent them upstream for reproduction. Similar equipment has long appeared in major hydropower stations, effectively protecting the ecological environment upstream and downstream. It can be said that China's hydropower stations are no longer hydropower stations in the traditional sense. While achieving power generation, they also play the role of benefiting the people, cleaning the river and protecting species diversity. Many hydropower stations have also been developed into tourist attractions, allowing more people at home and abroad to see the achievements of China's hydropower stations and achieve harmonious coexistence between man and nature. Conclusion China has become the world's largest country in terms of installed capacity, and its hydropower station inspection technology is also far ahead. From the blockade of funds and technology to the current position at the top of the world, the efforts made by hydropower workers can be imagined. It is undeniable that hydropower stations do have a certain impact on the environment. But with China's unremitting efforts, this impact has been minimized and even brought various conveniences to the environment and people's lives. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.